girls, it's Miss Angela and we are on day 89, 89 days of drawing together. Now it looks a little different behind me today. Today I'm in the back part of my studio that is being turned into a cute little tea room. A tea room for little girls and little boys to come back and have a tea and make different um, tea crafts. So I'm very excited about this. This will be opening up at the end of summer. I'll do my tea room at my studio. And you can see I have lots and lots of teapots. Now, today, I'm going to move this down just a little, and today we are going to do a fancy little teacup, and we are going to have a teapot. So we are going to draw a tea party, or a teacup and tea teapot. So get out those pencils and those papers, get out the markers, the crayons, the color pencils, get out everything. Boys, don't you bail out on me because you could be drawing this picture for your mom and she would love to hang it on her refrigerator, something that you made just for her. Now, let's get going. I'm gonna move this even more so we can see, not so much me, and my little teacups. Look at all those little teacups I have. Those are all from my grandmother. My grandmother gave them to me and I love them. All right, are we ready? Now, let's draw our teapot first. Let's draw it big like we're tipping it, just like I was tipping the teapot. And we are going to make, kind of like I said, remember that big fishbowl shape I said we're going to do? Let's do a big fishbowl shape, kind of sideways, almost like it's crooked on the paper, because it's going to be pouring. Now, we're going to put a little bottom on it. Let's make sure so it sits on the table when we put it down. And then we're going to make a little curve up here at far the top. And let's put a little lid on it. As you can see, my little teapot has a lid. It keeps the heat in. So we want to make a little lid for our teapot too. So let's go ahead and put a line. We're going to put it up above a little bit. And then we're going to curve it up. And then let's put a little knot on the top or a little ball on the top so we can pick it up easy. That is the beginning shape of our teapot. Now let's go ahead and put a big handle on it. We need something big to hold on to when we tip our teapot over to fill our cup. So that's the handle. And then we're going to have a spout here. There's a song on the little teapot, sure, and stout. And here is my handle, here is my spout. So the spout is where the tea is going to come out of. So let's make it, oh, let's just make it just like that. We're going to go down just a little and make a little, almost like an elephant's trunk. And then we'll come up here. And there you go. You have a teapot. So it's easy. Now we got to have that teapot pouring into something. So let's put a teacup down here. Let's make a nice straight line, just like that. And then let's do kind of a fish bowl again. Let's just go ahead and just make that same shape almost. Maybe even a little flatter on the bottom. Now we've got to have a handle to hold on to. So let's go ahead and put a handle on it, just like that. And then we're going to put a saucer underneath it. And we can just make that kind of just big. That, so when you're drinking your tea and you're sipping, and you can make a little spill, it goes onto the little saucer. Pretty clever, huh? Pretty clever. All right, now, what do we need now? Let's put some tea coming into it. So let's make just a few little lines like this that the tea is pouring, and maybe we're pouring it a little fast. So we're gonna have a couple splashes come up. Look at that. A couple little splashes, like upside down raindrops. That's it. You have a teapot and teacup very simple. And remember, I want you even boys to try it. Come on, try it. Just do it for me. Now, I want my teapot to have, oh, you know what? I want to have my teapot have yellow polka dots. So I am going to color in some big polka dots all over. Now your teapot can have anything you want on it. It can have, oh, what can it have? It can have flowers. It can have anything. I'm going to do a couple of here. I might even do this part of it yellow. And then I'll make, look at how I'm making these half circles. It looks like the dots are going around the corner. And then I'll put a couple on here. Now, do I want to have a matching teapot or a teacup? Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I'm going to have the bottom cup, bottom of my cup yellow, and maybe even my handle yellow. I like it. And then I'll put some polka dots on it, because we got to have some polka dots to make it match. Very, very cool. Oh, you know what? Since I'm doing the yellow here, I think I'm going to do yellow down here. Very cool. Now, I want a pink. 
pink pot, a pink, <laughs> pink teapot. So I should have probably put that. Well, I had to put the dots on first. So I'm going to do pink all over it because I want a very fancy teapot. Yeah, I'm going to do this too. We're going to color it all in. Go around your dots and around another dot. I kind of outline the dots so that way I don't, you know, go cut into them very much when I'm coloring. All right, I like this little teapot. It's a very colorful, bright teapot. It would make me happy if I drank tea out of this. Do any of you, have you ever tried hot tea? Mm, I'm not a big hot tea drinker, but you can drink iced tea too. It's kind of the same thing, it's just cold. When I have my little tea party, we're gonna have all kinds of little drinks. It's gonna be fun, I'm looking forward to it. All right, I'm coloring, I'm coloring as fast as I can. Now it's probably a little noisier back here than it is in my studio because I have a refrigerator running back here so you always hear it humming. So if you hear something going that's my refrigerator keeping things cold. Okay. Now I have tons and tons of, I probably have 100 little teacups in my, in my studio in the back in this little tea room. Because like I said, my grandmother gave them to me. She gave me all of hers and my mother gave me all of hers. So I have lots and lots of teapots, teacups and teapots. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to share them with other people? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share them. And we're even gonna make tea crafts back here. All right. There we go. All right, my teapot is pink. Now my, I think maybe my cup, it'll kind of match, but I want something different. I'm getting bored just doing the pink. So I'm gonna make my teacup in purple. So I am gonna color this, and they kind of match. They kind of go together. I'm gonna outline all my yellow so I don't, looks like a face, doesn't it? And I'm gonna color it all in. Now we are getting down to almost the end of our 100 days. We only have a few days left. Now tomorrow we're gonna do something that, I don't want you to think it's babyish because it's not. I love him, so we are going to do Elmo. I love Elmo, so join us because I want to show you how to draw him. And even if you don't like him, maybe you have a little friend or a little brother or sister that would like Elmo and you learn to draw Elmo for them, oh my goodness, they are gonna be so happy. So I want you to join me tomorrow for Elmo. And I'm gonna to try to dress up like Elmo, so that's worth joining in right there. Now I'm gonna grab some brown, because I want my tea to be brown, my little splashes. So I'm gonna have my brown tea coming up like this. I could have even done it a different color if I wanted to. And then I'll just add some brown lines like that. Isn't this cute? Now, I would like to do the background. I think it's just too plain the way it is. So of course, I'm gonna to have to add some color behind here. And now I want you to try this because this is all about using shapes to create something. So even if you don't like tea, even if you think it's too girly, your mom will like it or grandma will like it, so why don't you draw it for them? You should always try everything. Don't ever limit yourself thinking, oh, I don't like to draw that kind of thing, because that's not, that's not something I like. Because you'll find if you try to practice something else, it may be something that somebody else likes, and you could give it to them or show them how wonderful of an artist you are that you can draw something like this. So I will see you tomorrow, everybody. We're going to be drawing Elmo, so join me. It's going to be fun. Now, I want you to do what I tell you every single day. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands, I want you to listen to your parents, I want you to be creative, and I want you to be kind to everyone. So, have a little cup of tea, and I will see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye now, see you in the morning.